This is a continuation video where we're looking at M&Ms and we're told various information about the colors of various peanut M&Ms, namely the percentage that are brown, yellow, red, blue, orange, and green. For this specific video, we are asked to compute the probability that a randomly selected peanut M&M is blue or green. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at what is called the OR condition when you have a probability. We can refer to our textbook to help us out. Let's look at the rule for OR statements, namely that the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B occurring. Now this might look familiar, familiar to many of you. It's basically the cardinality rule in disguise. Remember the cardinality rule for sets, namely that the number of elements in the union is equal to the number of elements in one set plus the number of elements in the other minus the number of elements in the intersection. Does that kind of ring a bell? Anyways, that's what this is the basis of. So we're going to apply this rule to get us the probability that a randomly selected peanut M&M is blue or green. So let's go through this. So we want to know what is the probability that the M&M is blue or green. And for that to occur, we're going to take the probability that the M&M is blue plus the probability that the M&M is green minus the probability that the M&M is blue and green. All right, let's see how this goes. So the probability that the M&M is blue or green is equal to, well, let's fill in some blanks now. First, we have to look for the probability that the M&M is blue. And what are we told? Well, there's a 23% chance that the M&M is blue. And so we're going to write that as 0 0.23. Now we also want to consider now the probability of when the M&M is green. And look in our information. Notice 15% of the M&Ms are green. So that means the probability of selecting a green M&M would be 0 0.15. Finally, the probability that the M&M is blue and green. Huh. Well, can you have an M&M that's both blue and green? I guess if it was like mis misshapen or mismade with half blue and half green. But usually, that usually never happens, right? So the probability that your M&M is both blue and green at the same time is actually zero. So that simply tells us that the probability that your M&M is blue or green is equal to 0 0.23 plus 0 0.15. And when you put those two probabilities together, that gives you 0 0.38 or 38%. So we would say that the probability that a randomly selected M&M is blue or green is 0 0.38. It's as simple as that. 